Ooh. Ooh, I like this starting position in the new wonderful car that I just set a good lap time in around this track. Let's do this go. This video is brought to you by the Choking Hazard podcast. Search for it on your favorite podcast provider or check out bruffy.com slash podcast for the latest episode and much more via the link in the description. Oh, what a start. What a start off the line into the lead. Beautiful throttle control. It's all going to go downhill from here though, isn't it? Away we go. So yeah, the new Dominator 645, a beautiful machine. I love it. It handles like a proper muscle car. It's great. Uh, and we just did a little test race using this on the track. And I did too, I didn't do too badly lap time wise. I had a mistake early on, but I was in the top five for overall lap time. But that was in the dry conditions. I decided to set rain for the random race. So we're back on this track, which we have seen it recently, but we saw it recently in a random mall. The first random race of the year we were on this track. I highly recommend you watch it if you haven't seen it because it had an absolutely incredible finish. Great race. All right, Fugitive SS. I'll take it. Um, but the last time we did it in a random all was two years ago, and we've only ever done it in random all once. So, this is the final track in my, uh, in my list. I've been going through the random all tracks that we haven't done very often, or haven't done for a long time, or have only done once or twice. Um, and this is the last track in that list, so we'll start going through some more common tracks probably in the next few. But yeah, it feels like we've done it a lot sooner because we played it for that random mall race at the start of the year, but it's actually been two years since the last time we did it in a random all. Damn. gonna have yeah I've got the straight line speed there back in the lead <laughs> 169 penny it's gonna be a bit difficult in the rain but yeah I thought I'd put it in the rain to mix it up a little bit and change it up so it's not the same as what we experienced at the start of the year again highly recommend the video from the start of the year the first random race of the year it was incredible action Um, yeah, this is tricky in the corners, in the rain. You doing all right? Good top speed though. That helped me on this lap. X80. Oh, I think there's a dead car just after the start line. Careful, everybody. It's all right. Uh, and that, oh yeah, the, the last, uh, the only time we've done this track in a random all race, two years ago, the video was called Getting Fingered. <laughs> so for those who uh, remember that one, it was because I was giving the finger to people. People were giving the finger to me, flipping me off. And I I, I figured I'd title the video in a spicy way. <laughs> My guardian. 
scary. Scary. Other cars now. Oh, voodoo behind. I was expecting to get caught up on this lap, but... Oh, the voodoo on Project Homecoming is quicker, though, than it is on Vanilla. So I probably will get caught up, actually. It's unfortunate for Mild in the LMP1 Dozer. Got the speed on the straight though. It's not in the corners. <laughs> yeah, the Guardian's brakes did not want to work on that corner. Didn't feel too bad on the rest of the lap, but struggled there. I didn't lose as much time as I thought I would in the Guardian. Oracle XS, it's all going to depend on. Oh, really? I feel like he turned in on me there, but I'm going to have to wait. Oh, the Journey Tourer. Okay, I got a lucky break. Callista behind now. I think second, third, and fourth are all very close together. Hopefully, that time loss having to wait there isn't going to cost me at the end. We still got a long way to go in this race. We still got 18 minutes. I'm just going to enjoy the time at the front. I was at the front for a while in the last random all that we did two weeks ago, and then that. We, all, we, we saw how that worked out, so... Nice, nice, nice. Some lights. Cool car, this one. <laughs> the siren animated the boat. It's perfect for when we get when we get a police car on these random races. Oh, I didn't know where he was gonna go there. <laughs> okay, slow lap incoming. This might be the lap where I lose the lead. I've held it for a long time, to be fair. It's been nice. It's been nice running at the front. goes back into second. I did lose the lead a few minutes ago, I suppose, but it was only for like a couple of corners. What a pleasant, it's always a nice pleasant experience it being in the lead for a while. You gotta, you gotta enjoy it when it arrives in random malls because it doesn't happen all that often. What are we getting next? Club. Well, it's pretty quick. It's on the pace of mid-range sports cars, the club, so... Quicker than a gauntlet. Well, in vanilla GTA anyway, I don't know if things are different on Project Homecoming. It is kind of too quick for a compact. 
rip Groggy in his lawnmower. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Club's like a one minute six lap time, isn't it? Whereas the gauntlet's a one minute ten, I think. I'm cutting coroners anyway. Top speed difference isn't as much. So it's not quite as got that advantage on a track like this, but it's brought me closer. No. Oh. <laughs> At least it's the GT Regina, so I've got a bit of power, but... Well, I say a bit of power. Not an awful lot. Is this where it begins? Is this where it starts? The downfall that we all know and expect for me for random all races? Din might be hiding in the Torero. It's not going to have too much trouble getting through most of these corners. There's no. The last corner, I suppose, might be a little bit difficult, but not too many tight hairpins. Might be losing time. Could be worse. If I was on a more corner heavy circuit, this would have been a lot worse. All right, now we're talking. Big grip in the rain. Bobcat XL, 10 seconds behind. Let's chase this down. I think that one was fair enough, to be honest. He was right again. He was put right immediately, but I was definitely up the inside of there. got the top speed on me though freaking dominated GTX it just doesn't have any top speed does it it's got all the grip just no top speed at least it doesn't have the advanced handling flags on project homecoming all right it's getting closer in the top three oh LM87 ahead oh <laughs> Well, no one's passing me now. At least not on this section of the track. I'm not catching up to an LM87, though. That's some decent luck after a bobcat. Just try and get past me. I'm taking up all the road. Okay, it'll be easier here. I should just park myself in the middle. Okay, that was that was quick enough to overtake me quite easily. <laughs> they don't pass their drive underneath. Leave me alone. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for a bit better acceleration to try and get ahead again. And don't put in any stupid comments on this video, Dinmite, just because you've overtaken me. Long way to go yet. Like the next few corners. Freaking defending for his life. <laughs> cool car, this Krieger. That invited a comment, I know, right? They'll be putting all sorts. And I don't notice those little comments that he puts in because I check the start of the video and I check the end of the video and then I just assume the middle part is all fine because he doesn't really have to do anything. It's just the race as it is. 
and then I see people leave comments in the comments section of the video answering Dinmite's comments that he's put in the video that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> Freaking revolution beginning and all that. Anyway, we've had our Ron cars. Serena Rally. Going to be doing a much longer Ron race with a lot more Ron cars shortly after this. So Dinmite could just cut out any part where you overtake him. Actually, yeah, he could. Well, now that would definitely be beyond the pale. I wouldn't be accepting him. <laughs> Seems like a good plan. Back in a second. Can't catch up to the lead, though. Stayed pretty consistent. Need some bad luck. For, for RBS in the lead, I mean, not for me. Not for me. No bad luck for me. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, it's a great vehicle and everything, but it's not exactly quick. Three Ron cars in a row. It must know that we're about to do the Ron race next. A little early for June. Oh, rip, Steve. Oh, rip me. First mistake. <laughs> the dozer was too distracting, you know. I just went, uh, I just, I just miscalculated the, the grip of the June, as always. Still got eight minutes to go, but that was a definite setback. <laughs> this is a really difficult track for people like me who have this innate draw towards hair bale apex props. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Harden's pretty good. Oh, where are we going? Good grip. On the outside, nice. Back into the top five, is that? Or am I still in sixth? Yeah, still in sixth. Okay. Oh, it's closing up at the front. What's. It's, oh, it, RBS got the drift tamper. Well, the GHK tamper. Oh, it's really closing up. The top five, you can see them all. Sixth is right behind Lock and. Oh, man. The top seven are all in the same straight? With six minutes to go? Okay, don't edit this out. Okay, the top four are all neck and neck. That's amazing. Ah, oh, the manana, just as it's getting... Just as it's hotting up. I want to stay with this lead group. You screw off, Locke. <laughs> if Locke goes on to win again. <laughs> he was nowhere for a, a few laps ago. All the top car, all the top guys have got slow vehicles, it looks like. Finally passed RBS, but it's not for the lead this time. <laughs> RBS's bad luck came in now. Manana's got some pace, actually. It must be quicker here than it is on vanilla GTA. Still in the top five. Just. Don't think I will be after this straight, but... Loomis and Locke. The two quickest in the top two places. Right, 
straight back through on the Paradise. Back in fifth. GP1 is good. I can't believe how close that was. That must be one of the closest, like, to be 20 minutes into the race and have the top seven all on the same straight, separated by what, like, six, seven seconds or something? On a few laps ago, that was crazy. Must be the closest a random all's ever been 20 minutes in. Oh, they must got an ambulance on that lap. Nobody wants to win this one. That puts Locke back in the lead, but he's now got a Mesa. It's literally, you get in the lead and you get a bad car the last few laps. My own Cabrio's alright. Nice and grippy. Not as good as an Italian GTB Custom, but I'll take it. Oh, the top three are so close, you can see it on the map. Again, the coloured dots, for anyone who doesn't know on the map, are the top five. I think it's red for the leader, purple second. Uh, I know brown is fifth, obviously that orangey peach that Loomis is in is fourth. And then whatever the other colour is, pink is third. Top five. All separated by six seconds as we round the final corner with three and a half minutes to go. It's exciting. What's first place got now? Pick it or loco drag. It is. You get into the lead and you get a bad car. Oh, oh you're in fifth and your name's Bruffy and you get a bad car. <laughs> God damn it. Well, thanks, Rat Lorder. Didn't I get? Was it the was it the random all? The last random all? I got the uh, I got the other two Rat Lorders in the last one. It's giving me the complete collection in this one. I got the clean one, and then I got the stubby one. And in this one, it's completing the collection and giving me the the rusty one. Damn it. Issues there. I gained a place in the rat loader. I'm going to lose it immediately again, but. <laughs> oh, there's people everywhere. I've got no brakes. I've got no brakes. Oh, and then. I think. Oh, awfulness happened behind. Yeah, Loomis got tab tapped. From behind. Well, it was the rat loader that's done it. Euphoria, but I can get all the good cars in the world on the last few laps now, and it's not going to make a difference unless the top few get really bad things. I need the top cars to get top guys to get bad cars now. Getting good cars isn't going to be enough to make a difference lap time wise to catch up to the top three at least. We're fighting over fourth. Beautiful. Jesus. Oh. Where's my RE7B? I feel like I've done not too badly in this race considering the cars I've had. I've had some decent cars, but I haven't had, like... I want to say I haven't had crazy good luck. I guess this track just works for me. After what happened in the first random race of the year on here. All right, there we go. There's my good car. <laughs> Literally, just as I said it. <laughs> Loomis just got out of the way. He didn't even bother trying to defend that. Fair enough. I would have just got around the outside anyway. It's 
See, this is the difference though, like I'm already, I'm still 10 seconds behind. There's nothing I can do, even in an incredible car, to catch up. We're gonna get one more lap after this. Jesus. Pick a side. Sansi B4. Oh, drift spec in front. Wait, what's happened to Dimmite? That's three. That's third. And I'm chasing down SR20. Oh, it was Dinmite in the drift spec. Okay. And there goes the door. <laughs> There's Summer. Now, don't edit that out either. <laughs> Passing Dinmite for the podium. See, this is what I needed. I needed people to get bad cars. And it happened on the final lap to Dinmite. But... It needed to have happened to everybody else in front of me. But hey, third place. That's not so bad. I'll take that. Podium. I'll take a podium. Yeah, Summer is protecting the house, of course. <laughs> Thanks for the GGs. I'll take a podium. That's all right. That's not so bad. Considering, I mean, it was a fairly clean race. I had that one mistake in the June, but I don't think that would have affected my finishing position in the end. And that weight, maybe without the weight and the mistake, I could have got second. But... Drift car last lap from P1. There you go, see? There's proof. Didn't might just put it in the chat. The video will be very short. <laughs> no, there's the... Oh, we can just cut this out as well, can't he? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I think without the crash and without the having to wait, I would have got second, but I wouldn't have been winning anyway. I think I had a decent performance, to be honest, considering the cars that I got. I drove relatively, I'm relatively happy with my driving for once.